Hey Leo, so I'm here to do another spread for you guys. So keep in mind, everything may not apply to your situation. So just take what resonate and leave out the rest. And don't forget to hit the like button so you too can share the video to other people. And I appreciate you guys for your support. So Leo, we got challenge and four of cups reverse. And then we got nine of wands. So Leo, y'all been through some shit. Y'all been through a tough, challenging time in your life. And I feel like y'all been going through challenges after challenges difficulties after difficulty it's just been a struggle you know and some of y'all just felt like things are just not going anywhere things are not working out for you things are not going in your favor you know you just felt like when is my turn when am I going to win when am I going to get my blessings you you see what I'm saying but I am seeing that things are going to start turning back around because we got the four of cups reversed so things are going to start turning you know around and it's crazy because you you gain to be frustrated in the mix of all this, you know this this these challenges that you've been going through. You 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 just was very frustrated. But this is the end. This is the end of it because we got the nine of wands right here. After being frustrated and feeling like you missing out on opportunities, you know I just feel like y'all just been waiting for y'all big break, you know breakthrough, y'all blessing. You know y'all felt like y'all just was never getting anywhere. Things were not panning out for you. But like I said, this is your breakthrough with this nine of wands right here. This is the end. End of your frustration, end of your challenges, whatever it is that you've been going through. This is the end. Because I feel like you guys have, um, you guys, you know, gained a, a lot of knowledge, a lot a lot of wisdom about something. And it could have to do with a person. Some of y'all could have been a, a water sign. I'm seeing Virgo twice. I'm seeing Libra twice. And I'm seeing Taurus. But... I just felt like y'all have gained a lot of wisdom in a situation of what's going on, why things are going the way they are, you know, because y'all just been stuck for a while with this hangman right here, you know, and I just feel like y'all may have been stuck on somebody who never really changed. This person never really changed. This person made you feel alone a lot. Left, I feel like you guys were left in your head, you know, just thinking, but I am seeing that you waking up, you starting to realize how this person is keeping you stuck, you know, and even if this person do come back, you still feel like this person is not going to change because we got the hangman right here and you're still going to feel alone dealing with this person. But I am seeing that you guys are letting the situation go. We got surrender. Y'all letting everything go. I feel like y'all let y'all surrender into, um, like, Things coming in for you, like your blessings and stuff, because I feel like y'all, like I said, y'all was frustrated. Y'all was y'all was getting very frustrated about things not turning out in y'all favor. You know, y'all surrendered to the divine. I'm here, y'all surrendered to the universe. You know, to to God, spirit, whoever you believe in. You know, but I am seeing that y'all leaving that person behind too. You know, because I just felt like this person, just like I said, this person kept you in your head, Leo. The devil with the hermit card, this person kept you in your head a lot. It's this this was holding you back. This person's energy, if you're not around this person, you know, it could be this person's energy all over your spirit. You see what I'm saying? And it, it, it's like this person is, is playing tricks on you in your, in your mind. It's like this person is getting into your mind a lot. You see what I'm saying? And I just feel like that was holding you back. This person... Also, it could be physically around you, you know, maybe this person was in and out of your life and, you know, it just, this person was just messing up your mental, messing up your mind, your emotional way, um, way of being or whatever. But I am seeing that you letting that, you know, that, that person go. And I am also seeing that, that you letting, letting everything go to, you know, letting things, you basically you're going with the flow now when it comes, trying to control things, you know, trying to make things turn out in your favor you letting that go also but yeah i am seeing that you was in your head you know about you know this the devil whoever this person was could have been a capricorn virgo like i said capricorn virgo i'm seeing libra and i'm seeing taurus or a pisces or cancer or you could just have those elements in your um astrology chart but yeah it definitely was this person it was this person, but I am seeing y'all let this person go. Y'all let that toxic person go because it was holding you back. And I feel like you starting a new beginning because we got birth. Some of y'all could be pregnant right now. Not everybody, but I am seeing you, you know,
go off into a whole other direction. But it's crazy because I'm like, I'm seeing like, even though you moving on, you could be having somebody watching you. Because we got the page of swords right here. This person may be watching you. This person watching you get away. Seven of swords. Whoever this is, this person is definitely watching you get away from them. Um, Some of you guys, this person may come back. I'm just going to be honest. This person may come back, but I feel like they're going to tell you what you want to hear. This person is definitely going to tell you what you want to hear, Leo. You know, because they see you getting away from them. They only, they only, they only coming back to, to tell you what you want to hear so they can deceive you again. This person wants to hurt you. It's like this person purposely wants to hurt you so they can keep you stuck because we got to stand still next. This person wants to keep you stuck. You know, but I am seeing that justice will be served. So you have nothing to worry about because spirit is balancing things back out in your life. You know, this person gonna get bad karma for what they did to you because we got the Empress reversed. This person is gonna get theirs. So as long as you let this person go, Leo, I feel like this person is gonna get once you once you release this person, that's when karma is gonna start coming in to this person. You gotta let this person go in order for you to get your good karma. Even emotionally, that can hold you back. You see what I'm saying? So this person definitely is trying to keep you stuck yeah they may act like they want to you know work things out with you but this person is coming back to deceive you to let you down to feel like you not enough you know and yeah they trying to they trying to stop your blessings i'm hearing this person is purposely trying to stop your abundance from coming in your blessings i'm telling you is this person yeah, because we got destiny reversed, but this person is not meant to be in your life. This person is not meant to stay. This person is stopping your blessings, Leo, if you letting this person back in. You know, this if it was like this, yeah, you would be getting your blessings, but if you take this person back, the cycle is going to repeat itself all over again. You, you're getting pushed back. Things going backwards again. And some of y'all may have felt like things is going backwards. You know, like I said, y'all was beginning to be frustrated because... You know, y'all just felt like y'all was, n nothing was going anywhere. Things was at a standstill. And it's because this person, spirit is saying that this person is not meant to be in your life. It's time to you to focus on yourself. Start a new beginning. This situation is over. The spirit is saying that you can do bad by yourself. It's time to complete that cycle. It's time to end that situation and emotionally check out of this person. It's time to walk away from this person. We got emotional withdrawal. It's time to let them go. Even if this person has not came back or is not coming back, what could be holding you back is your emotions for this person. Because like I said, y'all, y'all, it's like y'all, y'all in your head about this person. Some of y'all could be feeling like y'all addicted to this person. This is like a soul time. I'm feeling this energy of a soul time. You know, but y'all need to emotionally check out from this person because I'm telling you once again, this person is keeping you unstable. This is like the four wands reversed. This person is keeping you unstable. And some of y'all, if y'all live with this person, y'all going to have to move. Like literally let this person go. Move out your house. Move house. Kick this person out in here. Because this person is not going to change. We got transformation reversed once again. And then we got this hanged man right here. This person is still the same. Ain't nothing changing about this person. This person feels stuck. This person feels alone. And they're trying to keep you in their energy because they feel that way. They ain't doing nothing but manipulating you. Playing mind games. And like I said, y'all... Y'all already aware of this. I think I just did another uh, a, a Leo reading recently about y'all being already, you know, caught on to this person's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know this person is playing with you. This person trying to keep you stuck. This person is playing with your, your mind. You know, keeping you emotionally out of balance. Balance reversed. Treating you really, really bad. You know, this person could have options. Some of y'all, this person could already be in a relationship and you may not know that. But... Spirit is saying that you need to go in another direction. Some of y'all may have to move out of town. This is like down south energy. Maybe you could be from down south or live down south. But Spirit is saying that 
y'all gonna y'all definitely gonna need to leave this person completely like wipe this person out of your life emotionally and physically because they holding you back and not only they holding you back it's messing up your your psychological mind it's messing up your psyche you know some of y'all just thinking y'all in negative thinking right now thinking like oh things ain't never gonna work out for me da da this and that third and it will it's just that for one y'all being frustrated because they're not happening the way you want it to for two it's because this person is holding you back so once you release this person physically and emotionally check out that's when things going to start turning back around you know y'all spirit saying y'all living in an illusion this is not who you meant to be with this person is causing you to be unhappy you know they not giving you the love and attention that you deserve you know, this person don't appreciate you because we got victory and success reversed. Yeah, y'all going to need to fall back from this person, rest and rejuvenate. Y'all going to need to get y'all soul in alignment when y'all step away from this person. It's time to break this connection off. It's time to break this person away from you, period. But Spirit is saying when you do that, that's when that's when you need to, you know, get your your emotions in check, your your um your soul back in alignment with yourself. You see what I'm saying? So you can get the blessings. You don't want to be stuck. You know, so when you leave this person alone and stop giving this person your attention and fall away from this person completely, make sure you get your your emotions in check. Make sure you get yourself in alignment. And when I say in alignment, that means take your essence salt bath. You know, meditate. If not, me listen to some meditation music, exercise. These are all the things that work for me, so I know it can work for you. Eat healthy, especially eat healthy. Eat healthy, exercise, and if you have to, cry. That is a must right there. Crying it out is a must right there. You know, that, that helps you release. Crying and exercise, it helped me release all the negative energy from out of me. But that's just some advice that I give y'all if y'all want to get y'all hurry up and get yourself back in alignment, you know, so y'all can receive the the blessings that you deserve. You didn't miss the blessing. It's, it's always going to come. It's just delayed because this person's energy and this person is holding you back. And then you emotionally stuck on this person. That's really holding you back. So you got to let this person completely physically leave. You got to leave this person alone physically and then emotionally check out. I know it's a hard thing, but, you know, it's going to take some time. This is a slow-moving process what's going on in your life right now. But I hope this situation, you know, resonates with you guys some way, somehow. But one more thing. I am seeing things, you know, turn right, turn back out for, in your favor once you get yourself in alignment. After you break away. This is a lot of change right here. But yeah, I hope this resonates with you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Y'all stay blessed.